Hello everybody, welcome back. I want to start this video uh, just by saying thanks uh, to everybody that watched the previous video all the way to the end and participated in the uh, the little fundraiser thing I I did with uh, you know offering stickers for sale. I, I haven't done that in in probably a year. I don't know why I don't um, mention stickers a little more often because it was a, a huge success. Look, look at all these. Look, see, hang on. <laughs> look at all these. Look. <laughs> I mean, I, I was uh, very much surprised and uh, and and happy about that. I an extra thanks to everybody that decided to round up their dollar amount to various levels. That was awesome. That is absolutely gonna our trip the whole way across back across the country. It's gonna soften the blow of these crazy gas prices. Uh, that was a reason for the little fundraiser. Uh, deal uh, again to uh, anybody that missed that and would like a sticker the um, the the link to get the sticker is at the bottom of every video description so that's it we'll get on with this video we are where we start at the north side of Tucson Arizona we stayed at the Cracker Barrel last night Whoop, Bell gonna take a little leak there and yeah, she's probably got other business to do of course we got our little baggies here uh got a little bit busy at uh cracker barrel last night and this morning oh look there's a hot air balloon up there hey what's up with that be cool if there's one of those uh hot air balloon festivals and maybe there'll be more today we do have a little bit of time to burn uh so we'll see what we can get into today oh what's that let's see you've got a van over there oh, they... oh guy uh guy cleaning the parking lot so we got a van an ambulance conversion other van over there a cruise america rv rental somebody's got a travel trailer oh that van has an old has an old whoop we'll take a little walk over there another class c another class c a bus there's a school bus conversion down there hang on here oh this this van right here that we parked by oh, of course good old betty Two more vans. There's a van leaving. And uh, way up there are two more vans. <laughs> a lot of overnighters here at this Cracker Barrel on the north side of Tucson, Arizona. I'm going to take Bella over here a little bit. It's a cool morning, I'll tell you that much. Uh, it's supposed to warm up. I think only get up maybe in the 60s today but uh low winds blue sky sun's coming on pretty nice day just a little bit of a cool morning oops i missed one somebody's traveling in that uh, suv right there and um i don't know what we're gonna do with our day just yet Come on, girl. Come along, girl. Okay, I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to come over here. This is something I wanted to. Do you mind if I record this, your van, or your your? Oh, sure. I just want to get a shot of it, okay? Because I'm entertaining getting an old classic to put, pull behind my van. Hey, um, well, I gonna, have that right now. This is going to be up for sale in like a month or so. In Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. I mean, if the price is right, I'll um, take it to Pennsylvania. Oh, yeah, I get it. Okay, here's what I was maybe considering doing with my van. Is getting a little, uh, maybe a little old classic. I don't know, maybe something more modern, but, you know, something small. Alright, let me see what we get over here. But, you know, just something small, has a dinette. You know, I could, I have, you know, the van's livable. I have a bed and... And, and stuff in there but you know this would have a, a dinette that i could fold it down to a bed too but uh you know something has a bathroom and a shower commode little kitchen you know something small like that you know the van could pull it without too much trouble it is a uh, by van it is a three-quarter ton van with uh around eight thousand or eighty seven hundred pound towing capacity so i doubt that weighs probably weighs less than four or less than half that my van could pull that Huh, something to think about. 
So, and here we go. So this uh, little SUV is pulling this Shadow Cruiser. Now that's something more modern. Do you know how much that, how long it is and how much it weighs? Uh, yeah, no. 19 feet. 19 feet, okay. That's, that's it about uh, 3,000 pounds. 3,000 pounds? Yeah. And your SUV pulls it pretty yeah, good? Yeah, good. The V6. We took the eight, I weighed eight twice uh, to go to San Diego and uh, lots of more pain. Oh, yes, yeah. yeah. Good. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So th there you have it. He says this little shadow cruiser weighs about 3,000 pounds. My van could pull that easily, very easily. And this kind lady has offered uh, to show me inside. Uh, that's pretty nice. <laughs> okay, it actually, as RVs go, oh, how nice. Um, look, it has much like at least a double bed up front. We'll get, uh, a nice full-size refrigerator. That's a plus. Uh, sink, stove top, microwave. Another done out here. Man, I could make this work. I could make this work. Thank you so much. Okay, I got, I'll remember that. I actually like these uh, as. Oops, hang on. Huh. There's food for thought, right? So here's the thing, if you've been with the channel for a while, you know that I've been, uh, you know, wanting to downsize and there's different options out there. I've been wanting to downsize from the bounder to a uh, class C that's, you know, six or eight feet shorter. The bounder's 34 foot long. Um, ideally, I was thinking about a 26 foot class C. You know, that's four or 5,000 pounds lighter. Uh, with about the same size engine, or, or a better engine actually, more modern. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Something smaller, a little more maneuverable, with that weight, and you know, yeah, six or eight feet shorter, actually, because I'm thinking 26 to 28 foot, so six to eight feet shorter than the Bounder, you know, around four or 5,000 pounds lighter. Uh, that would free up that, that weight capacity, that would free it up if I wanted to tow something. Uh, a little car or something SUV uh, so you know I've been wanting to do that but um, and I'll talk about it another time here uh, uh, some logistics about that but in the meantime if I sell the bounder before I locate a class C then what am I gonna travel with and live in I do have my van if I picked up a reasonable, uh, you know, decent used little travel trailer, I could make that for, uh, I could make that work for a while in my search for the, uh, you know, I find a Class C, if I buy that, I I'm still gonna keep the van as a second vehicle or a van, maybe not that van. <laughs> See, a lot could happen this summer. Uh, and, then, and then turn around and sell the, the travel trailer. You know, I can just flip it, if I take care of it, maybe give it some TLC. Who knows, maybe I can even make a couple bucks on it, right? Whew, lots to think about. <laughs> so that school travel trailer idea has been rolling around the back of my head too as a, as a stepping stone or an intermediate vehicle to uh, get my Class C if one doesn't pop up right away. If I make a deal on this, you know, I have to do something. <laughs> I'm not sure what's going on over here. I think those are Walmart employees giving uh, people a little talking to. Now this guy here is, he, I think he, he knows what's about to happen. So he's gonna go ahead and leave. All right, these must be Walmart employees. I don't see any, okay, I think I think I have Walmart badges on, but they walked over here. Let me back up. This is not a RV friendly Walmart. There's signs around that says no overnight RV parking. They bypassed the bounder because I think they know we just pulled in, uh, do some quick shopping. But I think this guy here was here overnight and uh, they come out and knocked on his door and give him a little talking to. And then they went over to the van right there. I'm not sure what happened there, but they, she was walking around and taking pictures of the license plate and on the phone for a while. There she is and her two thugs. 
it's uh well the one thug looks friendly he waved so anyway we're gonna i'm gonna run in real quick and uh, grab a couple of things from the store this morning and we're gonna get on our way yeah no overnight vehicle or rv parking allowed so right there it is and they're posted like on every light post there's no shortage of these signs around so obviously people don't take notice of those signs or do they bother uh even calling and asking truth be known i never ask i know a lot of people uh do but i don't um i just go by whether the uh parking lot is posted or not if it's posted though i mind the uh i mind the uh what the signs say and never had a problem with that yet <laughs> as it turns out we we left right about the right just the perfect time maybe like a day early if we kind of waste a little bit of time for just one day all those temperatures you know i talked about going across new mexico and getting into west texas you know some cool nights and not, you know, the day's not too bad but we're just gonna mess around just one day and temperatures are gonna be up five to ten degrees nicer just the whole way the whole way over through new mexico west it's just a nice warm-up uh is happening farmhouse bakery restaurant <laughs> uh we're in benson arizona uh made our way down from uh yeah the two uh where were we at tucson <laughs> and uh this is a the exit where you go down from benson down to tombstone arizona and i i think i seen a guy in the store was on his way to work he had his spurs on and uh his side arm and bullets in his uh belt and his ammo belt or his gun belt whatever uh but this is on the way the reason i'm stopping in this area was i used the gas buddy app and it said that uh it showed that we might get a substantial savings here in gasoline uh i don't really go out of the way with a bounder to to save a couple of couple pennies a gallon or a nickel or uh but we might get about 30 cents a gallon so if that app is accurate and up to date you know he's paying 360 where we were at was 365 or 360 something like that and I think down here it's uh, only 3:30. It's just off Interstate 10, where you really didn't get, need to stop at the store anyway. Gas is cheap in Benson, so um, anyway, we're gonna get gas and, and head out through these mountains. Uh, what's this? Right here at Benson Fuel. Where did I get the get the boundary in here? I, I let it says 3:53. Are you kidding me? And the Speedway is 3:59. Why does the about? Why does the app say? Um, so we're barely gonna save anything. I'm glad we didn't go out of our way. Oh man. Oh man. Wait a minute. One last. Oh, what's this? The horse. The horseshoe cafe. Cocktails. Yeah. Even a circle K. These gas stations are kind of little. Uh, how am I supposed to? I don't know. What are we gonna do? What are you gonna do? Might as well just get on the interstate and pay the extra just so I get a, a larger gas station that's easier to get in and out of. The Chevron isn't much better as far as getting in and out. It's actually going to be tricky. Uh, but yeah, it's not much better. There's only two pumps. Uh, but I'm not going to run back and forth. It's the point now where I just got to get gas and uh, not waste gas driving around looking for it. I'm just better off to cut my losses and. Okay. 
there I was all set to save about 30 cents a gallon and I'm actually paying about yeah about 15 cents or so a gallon more than where we left from uh, I hate when it works I hate when it works out like that but I do need to get it here because we're heading for get up and over the mountains towards Deming and then to uh, Las Cruces and El Paso and here to this first stretch I think it's quite a ways before we're uh, any gas station so uh, oh well grim and bear it and suck it up buttercup right <laughs> I feel bad for Bella. We are in one of those areas, uh, you know, that has all those, uh, what do you call them? I don't know, those prickly things are on the ground. Huh. I mean, she's good at getting them out. She has gotten very good at getting them out. I know we're getting to that, one of the areas here, heading out of Arizona that has those. We, one of our regular rest areas is that, uh, some of you will remember, uh, that area that has all those big, boulders is called texas canyon it's real scenic it's beautiful but every time and honestly we just well she just got a break we just might hightail it through and not even stop at that rest area because i always forget about it and bang she's taking for a walk and there she is picking you know last time uh just on a short walk three different times she had to pick those out so uh anyway I don't know why you don't run into them things out in the out in the desert uh, much, and I don't see much any kind of other plant life that I don't typically see. I don't know where they're coming from. All right, away we go. We're gonna be on the road for a while. There's I-10 East towards El Paso. Uh, we'll be back when we get somewhere. So here we are in this rocky area known as Texas Canyon. And uh, yeah, we, I'm glad we did just stop back in there. This place is really bad for those stickers. Well, I only got it once back there. But yep, Texas Canyon. And it, it's really, this rest area is, just, I think it's six miles east of, uh, what was it, Benson. It's a beautiful, beautiful area. And we have stopped here every time Every time on the way west and every time on the way east. This has always been one of our regular stops. But we are going to pass on it today. Just to save Bella's little claws. We'll, we'll just enjoy the scenery as we pass. Bella says, I remember this bad place. This is a place with all our bad stickers. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. Thirty miles of the Texas border. Then 